Hello friends, this is your professor, Professor Samir Sheikh, uh, Assistant Professor at NB Navalis Senior College of Engineering, Solapur, having more than 15 years of experience in teaching. So we are discussing the unit number 6 which is CNC and DNC technology. In this unit, we have covered uh, the CNC part and the adaptive control part. In this session, we will try to cover the last part of this unit which is direct numerical control so we are going to see uh, what is a dnc what are different types of dnc and advantages and disadvantages of dnc so uh, direct numerical control basically is a system which integrates a number of machines by controlling it through a central computer by direct connections and in real time as you can see uh, there is a block diagram which uh, basically gives different components of the DNC uh, like central computer, bulk memory, uh, telecommunication lines and machine tools. These are different components of a DNC machine. See basically DNC is a system where we have only one computer which control all the machine tools attached to it. Now let us consider we have a CNC machine and as this block diagram says there are four machine tools so if we use four CNC machines we will have computer attached to each one of these machine tool so it is very difficult for me to um, give instruction to each and every machine by its own computer and that way it is very difficult to control all the machines at a time so the better option is to replace all, each and every computer on this machine tool by a single computer. So that is the concept of TNC. That means every computer of CNC is replaced and each and every machine tool is being connected to a central computer which has a very strong, very bulk memory. Okay, so all the instructions will be given to each and every machine tool by the single computer only that way I am controlling all the machines at a time and through a single computer and I will have a better control over the production process so in DNC what happens basically the tape readers are completely omitted so there is no tape reader at all in DNC and of course the part programs are fed to the machine tool by the computer memory so part programs are built in the uh, computer and stored in the memory of the computer and also fed uh, to the machine by computers only. So DNC can give you instruction to each machine tool on demand and in real time. That means if the machine is under ideal situation, ideal condition, I can give uh, the task to the machine which is under ideal condition. It doesn't mean that uh, once I start giving operation to all the machines, I cannot stop the operation at any time. These things are happening real time. So I can change the orders, I can change the production process which is happening on a machine at any time and on demand and of course in real time. Central computer also receives data back from the machines. Thus, there is a two-way communication. So it does not mean that the machine the central computer will only give signals to the machine uh, it's a two-way communication the machine tool also gives back signal to the computer so it's a two-way communication I will come to know that which machine is doing what operation and if the operation is finished the machine will communicate to the central computer and I'll come to know that the machine is at ideal condition or is at halt so there's a two-way communication uh, for large number of machines, satellite computers are used. Uh, basically, if the number of machines are less, I can have only one central computer. If the number of machine tools are very large, let us say 10, 15, 50, 60, so I cannot have only one computer to control all the machines. So in that situation, satellite computers are used. Now, satellite computers are nothing but mini computers and they reduce the workload of the central computer. As you, can, as you can see in this figure, uh, this is our central computer which is with, with a bulk central uh, central memory and we have our small satellite computers, mini computers. 
so uh, basically satellite computer are uh, computers which control small group of machines by receiving data from the central computer and storing it in the buffer domain okay so these satellite computer what they do they receive the data from the central computer they store it in their buffer and they give that stored information to the machine tools in their domain as and when required they also can take the data back from the machine tools store it in the system and of course they will return that data to the central computer also so the data is executed as and when required by the machine and in its domain also feedback from the machine is saved in the satellite computer and they they then give back to the central computer they can give it back to the central computer so this is the small concept about direct numerical control now let us see what are different types of dnc there are two types of dnc one is behind the tape reader system and the other is specialized mcu behind the tape reader system the block diagram is shown here it has a dnc computer with a bulk memory there is a cn uh, nc controller which has two buffer storage and we have telecommunication lines which are replaced by the tape reader and of course we have the machine tool itself okay so this is the most easiest and uh, most often used interface where computer is directly connected to the controller so the computer is directly connected to the controller okay so replacement of tape reader by the telecommunication lines to the dnc controller gives brt its name so we have replaced the tape reader with telecommunication line which is linked to the dnc controller so that is why it is called as behind the tape reader system the connection with the computer is made between the tape reader and the controller unit that is behind the tape reader okay it has a memory it has two temporary memories as shown here the controller has two memories here one receives command from the central computer and the other converts the commands into machine actions so one uh, memory receives the command from the computer and the other converts these commands into the machine actions major advantage of brt is that it permits the machine tool to work independently that means if tomorrow if i want to remove this machine tool from the dnc i can completely remove these two things and i can attach a tape reader and i can again use it as a nc system so it can completely work independently also okay so that way i do have a control through the computer as well as i can control this machine by using the nc controller also of course i need to attach the tape reader when i want to use this controller without using dnc so it can work independently also the cost is also less by doing certain minor changes in conventional nc system the machine can be converted into dnc as you can see here we have only replaced the tape reader here with telecommunication lines so that means a conventional nc machine can be easily converted to dnc by making certain minor changes in it okay uh, basically it is a hardware system because we have not removed the nc controller so it has certain hardware units in it that means this machine is not flexible in terms of control functions that means the interpolation functions or the cutting actions that we can perform in nc systems are not very flexible it can either perform straight contours or maximum it can perform circular contours only so it is a hardware system the second type of uh, dnc is a specialized mcu uh, the block diagram is is been shown over here uh this is a dnc computer with a bulk memory and we have a special mcu mcu here and conventional nc controller is replaced by special mcu so now for this system the conventional uh, controller is been completely replaced by a special mcu for the specialized mcu type of system okay so special mcu is built uh, and it has been replaced by the special controller okay this special mcu is specifically designed to make communication between the machine tool and the computer so the 
purpose of making this special MCU is to make sure that it communicates between the machine tool and the computer specifically okay there is no much other uh, requirement of this particular MCU so special MCU which is soft wired so the MCU that we are talking about special MCU it is a soft wire system that means there are very less electronics devices or printer circuit boards application so I can control this MCU with softwares also I choose superior balance between accuracy of interpolation and fast metal removal rates as compared to BRT. So when we talk about accuracy of interpolation, that means not only straight lines and circular in the functions, we can also perform helical, spherical or maybe cubic functions very fast at a faster rate. That means the system will work very fast by performing interpolation functions and the material removal rate will be also at higher rate as compared to behind the table the system which is basically a hard wire system so that makes this mcu very flexible in terms of control functions okay so brd basically is a low cost uh, minor changes are required to change it to uh, uh, dnc from conventional nc machine and we don't have to replace the conventional MCU by a special one. So these are some certain advantages of BRT over specialized MCU. But these advantages are temporary. That means most of the machines nowadays are sold with computer control. So we will not see very uh, no, uh, numerical control machines nowadays to be sold. All the machines nowadays are coming with computers that means they are CNC machines only and the controller that we see in this CNC machine is very much similar to the special MCU which is required for DNC that means any CNC machine you can convert to DNC machine and if there is a requirement to convert that DNC into CNC you can very easily convert it into CNC machines also. So BRD even though it is low cost and very few changes are required still it is feasible to have a CNC which can be converted into DNC very easily. So these are the two types of DNC which are available. Uh, the last session is about advantages of DNC. It eliminates the use of tape reader. Close control is possible all the machines by the use of central computer only the only computer central computer large storage uh, of data uh, uh, in, in in the form of part programs so we can store large number of part programs because of the memory so bulk mem memory also allows to use the same program to be run at different machine tools at the same times that means a same program can be run at all the machine at the same time and there is no problem you have to just double click to execute that program and you have to specify on which machine you want to run that program part program becomes easier with the help of software available at the DNC data can be collected effectively from the machine tools for proper scheduling and inventory control because there are two-way communication so we can collect the data from the machine tool and we can do proper scheduling and inventory control uh, the DNC machine can be placed in the AC controlled environment so we have a good control over all the machine tools tools and cutter data can be centrally managed to avoid duplication at individual location okay uh, and the disadvantage are if the central computer fails complete activities will be stopped and it is an expensive system so that's all for this particular unit I hope you understood all the points uh, that we have discussed in this particular unit and for, and once again i am very much thankful for watching the videos thank you